Did you ever wonder how the New York Giants, a monumental name in the NFL, came into existence? The Birth of the Giants is a tale that takes us back to 1925, a time when the NFL was still in its infancy. The genesis of the Giants was humble, but promising, with a man named Tim Mara at the helm. With a mere investment of $500, Mara set the foundation for what would become one of the most storied franchises in the history of American football. The Giants, from their inception, were no strangers to success. They quickly became a force to be reckoned with, proving their mettle in the competitive landscape of the NFL. Their prowess on the field has resulted in numerous playoff appearances, and they've clinched the coveted Super Bowl title not once, not twice, but four times. Their victories in the seasons of 1986, 1990, 2007, and 2011 are etched in the annals of NFL history, a testament to their enduring legacy. But it wasn't just the team's victories that made them giants in the truest sense of the word. It was their indomitable spirit, their relentless pursuit of excellence, and their ability to rise to the occasion when it mattered most. Each victory, each playoff appearance marked another step in their journey from being just another team in the NFL to becoming the New York Giants we know and admire today. The birth of the Giants is more than just a chapter in the history of the NFL. Let's look back at a momentous occasion the greatest game ever played. Picture this, it's the year 1958. The New York Giants are squaring off against the Baltimore Colts in the championship game. An air of anticipation hangs heavy, the stakes couldn't be higher. This game would go down in history for being the first NFL game to enter sudden death overtime. The tension was palpable as the Giants and Colts battled it out. The Colts eventually emerged victorious with a score of 23 to 17. This thrilling matchup filled with unexpected twists and turns captivated the nation, significantly boosting the popularity of the NFL. It was a testament to the grit, determination, and skill of both teams. Despite the loss, the Giants etched an indelible mark on the history of NFL with their performance. Let's pay tribute to some of the Giants players who have left an indelible mark on the franchise. Lawrence Taylor, known as LT, is a figure of legend not just in New York, but across the football world. Drafted in 1981, Taylor transformed the linebacker position with an unprecedented blend of speed, strength, and ferocity. His ability to disrupt the game earned him the MVP award in 1986, a rare achievement for a defensive player. With Taylor's leadership, the Giants claimed victory in two Super Bowls, and his legacy was immortalized with his induction into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1999. Eli Manning's story is one of quiet determination and remarkable poise under pressure. Acquired in a draft day trade in 2004, Manning led the Giants to two Super Bowl victories against the New England Patriots. His cool demeanor during crucial moments, especially in fourth-quarter drives, has become a part of Giants folklore. Michael Strahan, with his magnetic personality and formidable defensive prowess, dominated the field as one of the most feared defensive ends holding the record for the most sacks in a single season, 22.5 in 2001. Strahan's leadership and skill were instrumental in the Giants' Super Bowl excellentude victory, marking a fitting end to his illustrious 15-year career with the team. His achievements were recognized with his induction into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2014. Beyond these giants of the game, other players like Frank Gifford, Phil Simms, Amani Toomer, Harry Carson, and Tiki Barber have contributed significantly to the franchise's success. But the Giants' legacy isn't just about the players. Take coach Bill Parcells, for instance, who led the team to two of their Super Bowl victories. Parcells' emphasis on discipline, preparation, and mental toughness transformed the Giants into a powerhouse, setting a high standard for future coaches and players. Their skill, passion, and dedication have not only elevated the Giants to the pinnacle of American football, but also left an indelible mark on the sport itself. The Giants' legacy is enshrined not just in their victories, but in the legendary figures who have graced their ranks. Did you know the Giants have played in several stadiums throughout their history? Their journey started in the Polo Grounds, moved on to Yankee Stadium, then the Yale Bowl and Shea Stadium, before finally settling in the Giants Stadium in 1976. But the Giants were not done moving. In 2010, they relocated to their current home, the MetLife Stadium, in East Rutherford, New Jersey. What's unique about the MetLife Stadium is that it's not just the Giants' home ground. The New York Jets also call it home, making it the only NFL stadium that hosts two teams. 
This unique arrangement led to a collaboration between the two teams for the construction of the stadium. But the stadium is not just known for being a shared home, it's also recognized for its green initiatives. MetLife Stadium has made massive efforts to reduce energy usage and waste, earning it a reputation as one of the most environmentally friendly stadiums in the league. The stadium's exterior lighting system can display over 16 million colors and changes to represent the Giants in blue or the Jets in green, depending on who's playing. And size? Well, it's no small fry. MetLife Stadium is one of the largest in the NFL, able to accommodate over 82,000 fans. From their humble beginnings to their current home in the MetLife Stadium, the Giants continue to make history. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. See you guys in my next video.